What is up everyone, welcome back to another video on the Kenji channel. Today I will be attempting to speedrun the well-known Roblox game called Iron Gods. Now, I did do quite a few mistakes that really slowed down the speedrun, so this could have been done much, much faster, and I also did kinda mess up the timer, but then I fixed it to show the proper time later in the video. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, and uh, I will be doing a voiceover on the speedrun as you're already seeing. And uh, I will also be posting the unedited version for those who want to see it. So I started by mining some minerals as I will need to make a furnace later uh, in the speedrun as I need iron to do basically everything in this. So then I crafted a stone pickaxe and I went to the niche to mine some minerals as you can see I did a small little cut. So yeah, as you can see, I'm now at Denise and uh, I am just gonna mine uh, some minerals and uh, this gives a ton, ton of EXP and uh, finally I unlocked the recipe for the iron pickaxe, I made a furnace, uh, crafted some iron bars which would give me some uh, really nice EXP. Uh, I lost some time here because my mouse was a little glitchy, but then I crafted the anvil and I made the iron pickaxe. Then uh, I did actually forgot to put uh, the iron pickaxe in my first slot, so yeah, it has also lost me a little bit of time. Uh, then I tried to go mine mithril, but I got reminded that uh, yeah, you, you need steel pickaxe to do that. And then um, I accidentally messed up a little bit the timer here, but... Uh, as you can see later in the video, I will be fixing it and I will get the original time. But yeah, um, then I went ahead and mined uh, some minerals because uh, as you can see from uh, the categories in uh, the speedrun setup, uh, it's going to be really useful. And then I actually went ahead and uh, killed an elephant, which uh, was a huge huge waste of time because I thought that elephants would give a lot of EXP but apparently they don't so yeah that was a lot of time wasted and uh, then I went ahead and uh, sacrificed a lot of my resources as sacrificing will be my main way of EXP for the whole run I, I sacrificed basically everything uh, from rocks to minerals to plants wood everything and then I uh, went to uh, mine some yam for some reason. I don't really remember why I did that. But then I went ahead and mined some more minerals as always. I actually encountered a funny little bandit which couldn't even do its job and shoot me. But yeah, that's whatever. Uh, yeah, mined some coal and then more coal. And then, uh, uh, yeah, more coal. And I also got the double jump ability which was really, really nice and really useful. Then uh, I went ahead and grinded the levels for like 10 minutes. As you can see, I am level 39 now. And I'm still grinding minerals because uh, uh, you can get a lot of EXP sacrificing minerals. And uh, yeah, I've been saying the word too much in this video. I'll try to stop. Yeah, then I went to had to mine uh, some iron and coal. And uh, yeah, I really needed this because, uh, you know, sacrificing. Then I reached uh, like level 44 after quite a bit of mining and mining and mining and more mining. As you can see, I've been mining for quite a while now. The video sped up, but yeah. And then I sacrificed all of it again. And then I finally unlocked the mithril pickaxe recipe. Now here is where I actually did the, a big mistake is that I needed wood and steel to make it, so I had to go mine wood. I don't know why I went there, because it was literally... Like, I could have literally gotten uh, both wood and iron in one island, but I decided to go in a further place, which was uh, really stupid of me. But, yeah, then I went to, to that island, mined some coal, mined some iron, and then uh, I went back to craft the mithril pickaxe as you can see uh yeah i'm going back to the bear plateau to craft it there's some bananas some chickens i don't know why i'm uh talking about those 
but yeah then I go for the anvil and I realize that I need to craft some iron and then I realize that I need to craft some steel which is pretty funny and then I finally craft the mephro pickaxe ah this felt amazing so after that I went uh, on a scavenge for minerals and uh, more minerals and yeah, you guessed it, more minerals. So I did this for about uh, 5 to 10 minutes, I believe. Uh, maybe even less. And then I went to, to mine some wood as it would be crucial for later in the speedrun. And then, uh, yeah, I went back to the bear plateau to mine some more sulfur. Uh, because I will need a lot of sulfur in this run. Because I will need to craft a hand cannon and some iron balls. Um... Yeah, so I kind of cleared up the whole island, it became winter, so the ores respawned, and I took advantage of that and mined uh, some of the iron, sulfur, coal, a little bit of everything. Yeah, this, uh, this speedrun had a lot, lot of mining, and yeah, I basically just cleared up uh, the whole island, and then uh, I crafted uh, some gunpowder from sure. actually never mind i went ahead and mined some more minerals as you can already expect and then i actually went ahead and watched my own tutorial i literally watched my own tutorial on how to beat the dragon which wasted me a lot of time as you can probably guess um, yeah, I had uh, I didn't know how many resources I would need so I just went ahead and uh, Watched my tutorial to see if I need more resources of that of this, uh, you know So yeah, I actually did need a little bit more coal as you can see and uh, Yeah, then I watched my tutorial once again and uh, I saw that uh, I needed the uh, uh, certain materials uh, and uh, the quantity of uh, balls it would give me and then uh, yeah I just went mining again and again because I needed more materials and more levels because from my tutorial I saw that uh, that um, the hand cannon and the uh, balls are level 50 so yeah then I ran out of minerals there and I went uh, to the main island where I mined uh, some minerals, uh, some wood, uh, sacrificed some stuff, killed some stuff, uh, did a little bit of everything, and this went on for a minute or two. I even uh, killed some bears for some reason, and then I went to mine uh, some more iron, and then uh, I watched my tutorial once again, which is pretty hilarious, not gonna lie. And then uh, after a lot, lot of sacrificing, uh, sacrificing a little bit of everything, mining some more iron, I was so close to level 50. Then I jumped onto this mushroom and finally mined the last ore. As you can see, I now place my anvil uh, uh, next to my sacrificing spot and furnace. Then, and then I craft uh, some, uh, I, I craft a crafting table, which doesn't make any sense. And then uh, I craft some gunpowder. Uh, finally, I craft an iron hand cannon. And then uh, I realize I need to close it. And then I click the iron hand cannon again. And then I finally go for the iron balls. I craft a lot of balls. And yeah, I get a lot of balls. Uh, I'm saying balls too much, and then I realized I can uh, craft a few more balls. So I craft some more iron to craft more balls. Uh, now, now that I've crafted all of the balls, I finally head over to the Dragon's Island. But before that, I actually needed to do something. You can probably guess it. And well, uh, it's getting more wood because I need wood. So yeah, this bear literally attacked me for some reason, which made me lose a bit of time, but it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, this speedrun could have been done much, much faster. Uh, then I went ahead and crafted a bucket, which would uh, be necessary. 
uh, for something you'd see late in there. I'm drink I drank some water, I ate some apples, and then for some reason I ran away from the water when I needed to fill my bucket. And then after filling my water, I drank a little bit and finally went to the Dragon's Island. Now that we're at the Dragon's Island, I for some reason placed a dock, which was completely useless and I did not even know I placed it, as you can see I'm crafting the sticks, to make a dock, and then uh, I store some items for some reason, I don't even know I did that, but yeah, I also did place a bed and set my spawn, which was really smart of me, kind of, not really. Um, and then I, for some reason, like, I stored my materials, I don't even know why I did that, uh, which made me lose quite some time, then, uh, yeah, I withdraw some rocks for some reason, uh, and then uh, I tried to store my iron pickaxe, which was completely useless, yeah, I don't know, I was just brain dead. Then uh, I equipped the chicken mask and I finally climbed to the dragons. Uh, yeah, the dragon. Then I literally fall, which made me lose so much time. And then I climb again and again. And then I finally reach the dragon. I build my wall and I start shooting the dragon. Then uh, trying to dodge every single bullet. A little hard but yeah then i waterproof uh, my wall that's why i needed uh, the bucket and then i literally fell down wow so surprising right and then i climb back up bringing the bed with me and i fall again and then uh, yeah i placed the bed uh, somewhere around here yeah perfect uh, so that if i fell again i could just reset and uh, respawn there um then, yeah, I'm just fighting the dragon, uh, and my cannon literally broke. I tried shooting it with the bow, I tried uh, shooting it again with the hand cannon, I even tried uh, killing it with my sword, which, uh, as you already know from my tutorial, uh, the dragon can only be hit with the hand cannon. Then my hand cannon finally starts working again, and... Uh, can shoot the dragon again and uh, yeah then uh, as you can see I am on very low HP I am running for my life and then I literally die uh, how surprising then uh, I place uh, some walls to get up to the clouds and start the dragon fighting once again now uh, the dragon is shooting me as always and uh, this is pretty risky obviously I saw for a split second that the dragon was low HP, but yeah, I also died, so it was a little bit of a problem. Then I went for the third time to defeat the dragon, and the dragon was literally running from me. <laughs> I went to, to the other side to kill it, and then it went to the other side once again, but then it followed me, and I started shooting the dragon once again. And then, uh, yeah, I just kept shooting and shooting and shooting, and then I died! Wow, so surprising! And then I realized I had ran out of balls, so I had to craft uh, some docks to craft more balls. <laughs> oh my days. Then I finally go ahead and kill the dragon. Yes! 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 Oh my days! I defeated it! I defeated it! Oh, oh, oh! 5405! 5405! Oh my days! Oh my days! Yes! Yes! Ah, oh, let's go! Oh my di yes! Oh, let's go! Ah. Oh, that took so long! Okay, <laughs> okay. Thank you guys for watching. This was an insane speedrun, and yes, there were a few mistakes made that I could have. Yeah, I could have saved up some time. I could have uh, maybe gotten like. 40 minutes but this is also super super nice this is the first ever speedrun on the game and yeah uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one